You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Well, Jason's a fantastic coach. Montini's a fantastic program. I think he's got a great system that all the girls buy into it. Jason has the experience. These girls have the experience. He, he's one of the best coaches in the state. Trinity obviously had a slow start when they had a change in the coaching staff. Now that Mike Valente and Jimmy Russo are there coaching, they're probably one of the hottest teams in the state. They beat us uh, back on February 6th. They beat Morgan Park, who actually had beaten us and was number one at the time. And they're rolling. They're feeling good about it, and that credit has to go to their coaching staff. They're a fantastic three-point shooting team. We have to keep them off the offensive boards, and we have to box out, limit their possessions. We have to make sure we're not giving up easy buckets to them. We can space people out and stretch defenses because we can shoot the three ball and we have a big time post two of them in, uh, inside, but if we're not attacking the basket, we're easier to defend. So if we can get to the basket, I think we'll be impossible to defend. It's something we, we take as a challenge to go up against them. We feel like we're one of the best teams in the state, so we want to play the best. Montini's the best. Let's go get them. Welcome to Hoffman Estates, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week tonight. It's a girls' class 4A super sectional as Trinity takes on Montini Catholic. Hello everybody, I'm Jim Blaney along with Cameron Smith and we have a fabulous matchup tonight between two conference rivals playing the rubber game of their season series and the prize could not be any bigger, a trip to the state semifinals on Friday. Cameron, let's first of all talk about Trinity. They beat this Montini team less than a month ago in the GCAC championship game, but yet, what sticks in the minds of the Trinity girls is they got to this point last year and got no farther. Well, you were right about that, Jim. They are back on our broadcast once again, trying to earn that trip downstate. You mentioned that we've seen the talent, what this Trinity team can bring to the basketball court, so we know what they can do. But they'll have a tough task again, trying to outmatch Trinity, or excuse me, Montini on the glass and try and score inside against the size of Montini. But I'm sure the Blazers are up for the challenge. And oddly enough, for all the success that Montini has had in recent years, a number of 3A state titles, they feel they have something to prove because of their success. They've been sent to 4A and they want to show everybody, doesn't matter if it's three or four, we can win either class. You're right, you're right about that, Jim. They're one of the better teams in the state of Illinois and they're looking for a little get back against Trinity tonight. Now, Jason Nichols believes that this group can be special, but only when they are focused. We'll see if the Broncos are ready for tonight, Jim. Corner of the lane, Fallon. Got rid of it. A word for a three and we're tied at 25. That was a great example of how to be patient against the zone, how to attack a zone, and how to pass out of a zone. Great find from Fallon to Aylward. We are inside three minutes to go in a three-point game. Winner goes downstate to the semis. Loser, their season is over. McKenna open for a three for the tie got it beautiful ball movement beautiful ball movement fouling the Brown at the free throw line and she kicks it right back out to McKenna for three and it's a new ball game ladies and gentlemen Wallace drives baseline goes in got the bucket count it She'll go to the line and try and add one. I mean, why not? The senior, Tierra Wallace, she's done it the entire night. Whenever Trent Montini has needed a play, it's been Tierra Wallace. We've seen it on the defensive end, and right there we see it on the offensive end. Contact, score, and she has a chance to give the Broncos a one-point lead. Here we go, 40 seconds to go. Fallon to D. Brown. Inside to Fallon, she puts it in, and Trinity is up by one. Nice give and go. Elisa Fallon has been huge in this fourth quarter. Struggled all night, but got herself going from the free throw line. And this is perfect timing. Good spacing against the defense. And that's as easy as it comes. Here we go. Oppenheimer will inbound. Here's Kunzer. 13 seconds left. Van Buell comes off the back screen, puts it up for the tie. That's good! Trinity has it. Six seconds left. McKenna at half court. Three seconds left. Annie McKenna wants to put it up for the win. It's blocked. We're going to overtime. Wow. Kaylee Bambule, you are a star. 
Outstanding job knocking down that three, her fifth three of the night. And we have some extra basketball in Hoffman Estates. A little miscommunication on the baseline from Fallon and Lauren Lee. And you give a great shooter like Kaylee Bambuel space, and she will knock it down. Again, you fall asleep on this young lady, and you are asking for it. And Cameron, that thing was hunting the whole time. Yes, it was. And it was nothing but net. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.